Well, I think that most of the folks who I've talked to who had key takeaways from the floor, they were actually that it was more of similar things to what they had seen in the past, sort of just taking it to the next level. So screens being flatter, things being more flexible, things being able to, 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 uh, to have multiple permutations. But largely, I, I felt like this year it was, it was about continuing to evolve on a trajectory that was already in place as of last year, as opposed to completely dramatic breakthroughs in technology. Well, I think what's interesting in the economic climate is I think we largely live in a bit of a bubble um, that's a bit disconnected, frankly, from the economic reality that we certainly face in this country and in many uh, places around the world, most notably probably Europe right now, feeling a tremendous amount of economic pain. Um, I think I sense a world of tremendous optimism, of growth, um, and a lot of innovation from a media, entertainment, technology, consumer experience standpoint, but I'm not so sure that that's entirely connected to, to the reality. Um, and I think uh, when we tap into the HuffPost community of people who are consuming um, uh, our Pulitzer Prize winning journalism and really tapping into the social elements of our content uh, to connect with that, I, I think there are very real issues that very real people are facing. And so much of the outlook, I'm not sure, is entirely in sync um, uh, with what that reality might be.